like on my face, so legit. Um, I'm nervous, I'm scared, but I'm also really excited because I feel like this is going to be a vibe of like chillness, tranquility, and all that. So, let's get to it. I made it to Portugal. Okay, so I'm walking to the car rental desk because I rented a car because I was not about to be on my first solo trip taking public transportation. Absolutely not. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Look at my wig. Look at my wig. Let me show you the inside because it got some like brown coating. Hold on, let me show you. How cute. What is this? A Subaru? I don't know what this is. A Suzarski? Something European. But they got like the brown, like, you know, like the brown coating with it. It's kind of sexy. Also, keep the nails. Period. This is cute. So I'm gonna get going because my phone is on 4% and my drive is an hour. So I have to figure out a way to charge my phone before I go. They do have a charger, but my cord obviously is like the lightning cord. So we gotta figure out how to charge my phone. So let's go. I want energy, I want jump life, I want fire motor, I want field house, I still want the love. Guys, we are going up to the room. I'm pretty sure it's beautiful, so let's see. Guys, this place is gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. I need to flip the camera around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. This is amazing. So you guys can really see everything. So you walk in, first it smells so fresh. It has to be this. It smells like sweet and beautiful and ugh. And look at the design. It has like this little thing. Mirror. I feel like this is like a couple's place. Girl, wait a minute. You see? <gasps> Look how gorgeous. <gasps> Welcome aboard with the bidet. <gasps> the bedroom. Yo, this is gorgeous. Oh my days. This is definitely for a couple. I definitely look like a honeymoon suite kind of situation. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let me turn off this light. Oh my days. This is gorgeous. They got the white wine for the couples. I'll be downing that by myself. This, they got the couch, the TV. Oh my gosh, this is just like the pictures, if not better. It said that I have a sea view, but it doesn't look like I have a sea view. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Look at that. Y'all, this is insane. This Oh, there's a C. <laughs> That's my C view. Guys, this is gorgeous. Another mirror. Ah, I love it here. I don't want to leave. Look how pretty. So you are on my camera right now, which is so much fun. But I am currently on day two of my first ever solo trip. And honestly, I'm having a great time. <laughs> so far, I have went out to dinner. The dinner was so good. And I wanted to do a sunset kind of vibe, but with dinner. And so I found this really cute place that you guys should definitely go to on your way here. Get the octopus. The octopus was um big thing. And then after that, like I just stayed home and I got home around like 10-ish. I went to dinner at like eight. So now we're on day two. And for today, I started off my day this morning by going to the grocery store, getting some snacks, chips and stuff because I was going to the beach. So I went to this beach. I don't know how it's pronounced. Fraseli? I don't know, the name's gonna be here and I'm gonna like input some pictures and videos and stuff. It was so, so, so pretty. The rocks and the cliffs looked like what you would see in like Utah or something, or like maybe Arizona, I don't know. But one of those places with the orangey rocks, it was like that on a beach and the sand wasn't even hot because the sand wasn't like glass sand. It was 
like shell, like from seashells. It was like a seashell sand. And it was the same kind of sand that they had in um, Spain in the Canary Islands when I had went. And it was like blazing hot, like 90 something degrees when I had went. And the sand was like cool to touch. Like it, <laughs> it was beautiful. And so after that, I was supposed to go on like a boat tour today. Um, but then it got canceled, so then I ended up doing another boat tour. This is like a sunset boat tour. And so it should be happening in about like an hour or so. So I'm really about to leave the house right now. But yeah, so we are doing the solo trip thing, baby. And we're gonna go. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I suffer from social anxiety until I had to convince myself to get on this boat. So wish me luck. stuff at these beaches and I just like took my drone around for a little bit it is day three kind of like my final day and yeah now we're about to go get some food because I have a headache and I'm hungry so priorities so let's go <laughs> Okay, so we are on our final day, our fourth and final day. We leave today at 8 p.m. So I got to do a late checkout in my apartment right now. So we are going to go to the beach, spend a few hours there, come back at like around 2 and shower and kind of prep for the airport and then get in our rental car and bats. So let's go to the beach and forget about our problems just for a few more hours. <laughs> Okay, just got back from the beach and we are finishing up our packing. As you can see, we are pretty much almost done. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sad. This apartment was like one of the most beautiful apartments I've ever stayed in, like for real. So I'm very sad to have to go. Um, but hopefully maybe you get to enjoy this too when you come to Portugal. And I get to enjoy it again when I come back to Portugal. So let's get the party moving and let's go to lunch. I'm regulated, we shit in the ass. Look at your show class. 